This is a one-of-a-kind concept car that's been hidden away since 1995. And you're watching it here with DT Rockstar 1. This is the car that many of us lusted after in Need for Speed 2. And I can't tell you how humbled I am to be up close and personal with this car for the first time. Unfortunately, this car currently doesn't run because it's been sitting away for so long. So we're not going to get to hear what the car sounds like, but it sure looks incredible. The lighting you see here was provided by a good friend of mine, Isaac Ireland, one of the best photographers I know, with the assistance of our friend Josh Walters. Be sure to check out Isaac's photography on Facebook at Hot Metal Photos and on YouTube at Hot Metal Videos. Okay, I have to brag for just a second. When we were finished with the car, and the other two guys, when the other two guys were pushing the car back into the building, I was in the driver's seat steering it. So you can kind of say that I was driving the Ford GT90. I'm sure people have done better than that, but that's my claim to fame right now. Pushing the car was not easy because it was very thick fiberglass and it weighed about two tons. Opening the door requires battery power, which the car didn't have. So every time we wanted to open the doors, we had to hook it up to a jump box. It was a bit of a tedious process, but we didn't care. This is the GT90 we're talking about. The engine is a quad turbo 6 liter V12, producing about 720 horsepower. The chassis, suspension, and gearbox were all taken from the Jaguar XJ220. I've never seen so many triangles in my life. The design is just loaded with them, both interior and exterior. They managed to come up with an amazing design. The gearbox was a bit clunky, which might be in part due to the fact that the car has been dormant for so many years. When you see a car like the GT90, you just have to capture just about everything about the car. I'll give you a minute to take it all in. Josh and I both have the die-cast model of this car, and he pointed out that on the model, the area where the license plate would be looked kind of like static on a TV screen. So he took a look at it on the real car, and it turns out that it was a bunch of signatures from the people who were involved in the car. A nice little Easter egg there. I still can't believe we got to do this. We've been searching for this car for a long time, and I am still coming down from this opportunity. I'd like to thank the people who allowed us to see this car, as well as Isaac Ireland, Josh Walters, and Steve Schweitzer for being involved in this photo shoot. Don't forget to check out Isaac's photography on Facebook at Hot Metal Photos and on YouTube at Hot Metal Videos. This is DT Rockstar One. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.